Cheryl is currently a lecturer in Hassan University. She is also an ESL teacher and IELTS trainer. She is a graduate of Bachelor of Arts major in English and has completed a postgraduate degree in Bachelor of Laws, which is a Juris Doctor equivalent. She also took an international teaching course in the Australia and Vietnam School of English. She has been teaching for almost a decade now, and with this considerable period of time and substantial experience, again, has expanded her horizon in the field of education. She is committed to the notion that never learning stop and dedicate herself in delivering fantastic, exciting, and highly effective classes. As she teaches with passion and a twist of good sense of humor, Okay, is it enough about you, Ms. Cheryl? <laughs> yep, it's perfect already, Mr. Hai. Yeah, and Thank I think you. now it's time for you, okay. Yeah, so I need to like turn on my camera now, Mr. Hai, right? Yeah, yeah, you, you, you should turn on your camera. I'll try. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Here it is. Okay. All right. Hello, everyone. Hi, 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 everyone. Okay, hope you're doing well today. Come on, hi. Oh my god. I'm a bit nervous. Not really a bit, I'm extremely nervous, but then like looking at this public chat and i can see here so many people i feel so good so great hello there doctor <laughs> okay so um let me check could you like tell me first like where are you participating right now which like um where are you which country because i believe well we have like um participants from all over the world. Oh, wow. <laughs> All over the world. Hi, Miss Quinn. Hi, Ida. Oh, la la. We have someone from Germany here. Hi, Miss Trang Bay. So maybe we could just like wait for a minute and then we could like start off formally. Well, actually, formal is not really my, you know, my thing. <laughs> but let's see. Hello, hello. Okay, I'm glad I can see my relatives here. They're participating. Hello, everyone. So some people are like giving me messages and they said like uh, they're going to actually join. So can I just like wait for a little bit? Hello there. I believe you were my student before Maria Mendoza, right? Hi, Dr. Neo. Hi, Ida. Hi, Quinn. Oh, my God. I feel like, an, you know, an, art an artist <laughs> live streaming or something. <laughs> Hello. Ooh, Dr. Kong. Hi. <laughs> everyone, everyone, I feel so glad. I feel so honored for this, you know, opportunity given by this uh, Boston University and uh, really I'm quite um, speechless uh, not speechless <laughs> but really I'm so talkative like it's just like how do you call this I feel so grateful for this um, opportunity to be able to be one of the become one of the speakers in Wasan University webinar series. And I hope guys, oh thank you, Dr. Kong. And I hope guys that you will enjoy, enjoy. No, it's really actually exciting and at the same time really informative. But uh, I'm going to tell you that this is not gonna be your normal uh, webinar because i'm so sorry my mouth has like a life on its own and it's like sometimes i can't control it <laughs> but really i will try my best to make this webinar as exciting and fun as we can Yahoo. so guys 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 before we start like i'm going to like start a poll okay and let's see here sorry for that 
And I have, I want to know where are your locations. So here, if you are, ta-da, can you see how we're like, okay. Can you see the poll there? Oh, I've got like, you know, I believe like there are many participants from other countries and also like uh, from the Philippines and I'm glad for the support and I believe this is very timely since we, I believe the instruction for uh, the, how do you call it, educational system back home uh, will be what, They're delivered online, am I right? Okay, so can you like see the poll there? I posted a poll. Can you see it? Yup. Let me see. Oh yeah. Hi, my friends there. Yeah. Hello. Okay. Oh good. So here. Um shall I start? Are you ready? Tell me if you are and say yes, please. <laughs> Yes, sure. That's I'm so glad. Okay, everyone is ready. Yoohoo. All right. So um you can see that you can try to navigate uh, watching from Diga City Philippines. Hello. Okay. So you can actually try to navigate here. You can uh, uh try to chat down the whatever your comments, your suggestions. It will be fine. Like Sometimes I get too excited and I get to talk really fast. So if you want to, you know, um, make you can like type it, Miss Cheryl, can you just like slow down a little bit? No problem with that. And actually, there are loads of fantastic materials and resources, websites, web based, internet based resources that I really wanted to share with you. But because this um, webinar is only like 60 hour presentation and 30 minutes um, question and answer. I will really try my best to go through it as briefly as I can without sacrificing, of course, our, how do you call this, our quality, right? So again, I'm no expert about this, but this, I want to ask your valuable opinion, of course, later and insights. If you want to share your thoughts, your ideas, please, Feel free, everyone. Hello, hello. Okay, so again, my name is Cheryl Jones Sison Solano, and I will be talking about, I will be discussing about our um, uh, topic, which is integrating technology in enhancing language proficiency. Actually, here, um, my webinar was originally uh, directed in how to improve students English oral communication along with other macro skills and focus on um, integrating technology in like let's say in classroom interactions like in class interaction activities to boost learner centered activities however however I kind of modified it a little bit uh like the last minute <laughs> simply because uh some people like signify their ideas signify their how they call this purposes and intentions that they also want to learn some of the tools and resources that would be helpful especially in let's say planning their lessons lesson delivery feedback let's say the the practice and review and also the feedback and assessment are we all good am i talking too fast let me know let me know oh my god john hi mr john hello okay so basically this modification that i made um uh, about like uh integrating how do you call this a technology and it's like a uh, general sense, uh, hopefully could cater the demands, demands, and the needs and the different goals and purposes of our participants. Simply because um, we actually have different, um, how do you call this participants? Like we have teachers, we have students, uh, they come here to learn, you know, methods. Some students actually wanted to learn because they wanna, how do you call this? Um, gain new knowledge about the websites where they can actually 
uh, how do you call this, learn self like independently. So it's like a self-paced learning. So we have different intention. And some also just come here to see me. Oh, la, la. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> let me check. Let me check. Okay, so I'm going to start a poll. And you're going to tell me, okay, uh, what are you, why are you here? So basically, if you're like um, a student or let's see, okay, let me check here, ta-da, <laughs> please let me know. So of course I can accommodate your stuff here. Can you see the, the yeah, can you like answer the poll? <laughs> okay, can you see it? Nope, you can't. I did. That's cool. <laughs> okay, so I can see. I, I think majority. Oh, I. Uh huh. Let me check again. I'd be something wrong. Let me try. Hold on for a little bit. So please turn on your uh, microphone, Cheryl. Sure, hi. All right, there you go, there you go. This is why you can't hear me because I'm muted. <laughs> thank you, thank you for the reminder. Was too fast? I... Okay, there might be something wrong with um, the Paul stuff. But anyway, I believe that majority of the participants here are teachers. Am I right? Yeah. So I hope that you can really like um, gain knowledge from uh, the webinar that we are going to do today. And of course, I would really love to hear from you like your insights and everything share caring is caring anyhow anyhow let's start everyone everyone again um i'm actually focusing on integration technology integration and um actually this is really kind of broad so and i know we don't have really much time to explain the theories and the principles and all so basically I don't want to fed you up with so much, you know, kind of uh, talking and stuff. So I want, hi, Mr. John. <laughs> okay, so I want to focus on uh, the practical applications. Okay, so basically we are going to go through some useful resources, some useful um, tools that we could actually incorporate in our um learning process both learning teaching and of course learning specifically in improving our english communication skills are we good everyone are we good okay yes uh, i think uh, guys please uh, feel free to actually um type down if you have some concerns or you know suggestion if i might if i might you know if i am talking too fast hello sunrise village my hometown right so just let me know i could there because later you will see loads you know tons of how do you call this resources but i'm just gonna like lay it down and elaborate you know few uh some of it but 
if you want me to go through it in detail, I'll check the time and let's see. All right. Okay. So here we go. Today we have like four main goals. Okay. First, um, again, we are going to look through the, the and understand first what is technology integration and what are the benefits, identifying the benefits. It's very vital simply because um, if we actually experience, if we learn, you know, identify and experience the benefits, we will become more, how do you call this, interested and eager and more motivated to actually like incorporate and integrate technology in our classroom activities as well as all throughout the preparation. Okay, so basically I'm going to show you four major benefits. However, I'm going to highlight, you know, some useful websites, activities and all per benefit. Okay, does it sound good to you? Hello? everyone okay sure thank you how about the others thank you miss quinn all right here we go uh-huh as yes thank you okay so here um as we all know we are already in our hi mr mao <laughs> We are already in our, like, how do you call this? The age of technology, the contemporary world of mass media, name it, mass communication, internet, and all. Everything is actually dri uh, driven by technology, right? And I want to know, if you hear the word technology, what comes to your mind? Hello? If you would come, well, you know, what devices or any stuff, iPads, computer, perfect. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Same thing, Netflix, even TikTok, right? It could be like related to, you know, social media and stuff. Thank you. However, let me put this. How do you actually, um, how do you call this? I want you to picture yourself. Okay, inside the classroom, teaching students, and I want to ask you again, what does the word technology look like to you in this kind of environment? Hmm? Application scientists could, right? But in this situation, as you can see here in our PowerPoint presentation, right? How do you now relate technology in the, in the class environment? What comes to you? What, oh, I mean, what word comes to your mind? Yes, that's cool. Yeah. And basically, the question here is convenience. Exactly. Basically here, the main question would be, how can it be used to create effective learning? Yeah, quiz, exactly. Okay, but if you're not exactly sure, you know, then you're in the right place because we are going to show you later uh, how we can transform our classroom using technology integration. Okay, and yes, 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 because of that, let's talk about technology integration. As you can see here by the meaning itself, the answer may seem too obvious, but in all actuality, the question is really valid one. I tell you that. Because, you know, despite that we are living in this modern era, okay, many teachers are still reluctant to actually, like, incorporate uh, the, you know, technology in their classroom, in their learning process. And I'm not, of course, undermining the traditional kind of teaching, right? But I want to I want to share with you that integrating technology could change your life. My God, it could actually change uh, the experience, especially in your uh, learning process. So, however, there are many like several factors why why there are still many people, especially there are many still teacher who are too uncomfortable with the idea, uh, simply because number one. 
they have really negative perception with um, technology in general. They think that if the student is holding the phone, they're not listening at all like that. And the lack of confidence regarding the effectiveness of um, classroom technologies. So basically, they're kind of hesitant, hesitant with it. But one valid reason and factor would be they may have like lack of presentation and tools. Okay. However, actually we are already in the perfect time and place right the technology is everywhere internet is almost everywhere and all we just need to do is to actually explore okay right so in order to combat these issues with technology in education we must of course clarify what technology integration is right so and also here um by itself it okay when we say a uh, technology integration it is literally integrating and interweaving technology into our teaching and of course our learning here okay so how okay simply put we need to just basically utilize okay the technology the web-based resources and you know to increase the students uh, engagement and teachers efficiency so basically the very major aim you know in our um webinar is to actually how do you call this um actually let people especially teachers understand is that integrating technology could actually produce maximum results for both teachers and student learners in fact actually maybe you are already um, incorporating it in your daily you know life as a teacher or as a student but you are just kind of not like unaware with it right so for example nowadays i think most of our teachers now use their um tools such as like laptop you know tablet even like phone in researching and in planning their lessons especially i'm not too sure with the lesson delivery um specifically back in your um back in phil because uh, we are still kind of like traditional and primitive in a sense. Although, although I know like a lot, loads of teachers also there are already like adjusting, adapting to the changes. Okay, and, and that's really great to hear. So when, you know, when technology integration, you know, is done thoughtfully technology does not only drive the curriculum and if, if only teachers could actually understand it the advantages will be literally numerous and undeniable and if you if we teachers can apply it effectively we can actually experience the advances advances my god okay as it, it it provides opportunities great opportunities fantastic experience why you know because creating well-designed interactive um learner-centered um activities are kind of really easy now because of technology so basically technology inspired learning environment would be very efficient efficient and flexible so again technology integration is basically utilizing technology such as the web-based resources and other digital tools to increase our increase our engagement and teachers efficiency both actually student and teachers um efficiency okay but then again i'm only like laying you down the overview okay just like the surface of it technology integration is too broad okay this is just like a tip of an iceberg okay so hi everyone again welcome if you're new hi hello are we all good okay can you still hear, hear me all good no problem with the audio please let me know right so here yes thank you okay so again Technology integration actually supplements and enriches traditional learning activities. 
Okay, we are not saying, oh, traditional learning is boring and all. But no, nothing can sub substitute, you know, a, an effective teacher, right? However, if you want to have innovative, uh, how, how do you call this, um, experience, edu educational experience and learning, my God, we need to try, we need to embrace technology integration in every step of our, you know, um, learning instructions, right? So the great news is, follow this, the great news is we are again finally in a, in a period where we have technology at our disposal, okay? And then we, all we need to do is just to incorporate it, equip, why? We need to incorporate it because I tell you, okay, if you're not still convinced, I tell you, later you will uh, see loads of educational resources and activities and it really makes, you know, how you call this, difference, you know, just a like, significant difference in increasing students' motivation, okay? And the best thing is that we are not just teaching language, but also, you know, we are letting them experience the tools, you know, we are letting them, uh, how you call this, exposed with the tools and resources that could be very valuable for them in the future right 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 hello okay so i think um we are all set with technology integration i think we perfectly understand that yes or yes yes <laughs> yes <laughs> okay thank you for that thank you uh-huh so here, let's take you to the next level. Okay, this is going to be fun because we are now going to um, experience, okay, how does like technology change really, you know, the, the, the student's participation in class and how can it really be beneficial for teachers as well? My God, it's a lifesaver, I tell you. If you know how to navigate your te technology, the internet, oh, dude, it's really like, it's a hero. <laughs> but, you know, uh, later you would know why I am so into technology integration simply because it's like my partner, okay? It's like my partner as I, I, I deliver all, basically all prepare, you know, my instructions, even in during the giving of uh, feedback and talk. Are we ready? We good, we good, we good. Now, I'm going to highlight to give you the specific benefits and also highlight some useful tools that will actually maximize our learning process. Am I talking too fast? You're all good? I get so excited. Are you good? You're okay? You want me to slow down a little bit? Let me know, guys. Yes, a little bit fast. Woohoo! Okay, that only means I'm too excited. <laughs> okay, I will slow it down a little bit, a little bit. Here we go. Let's talk about, okay, our, uzaza. here we go, our benefits, okay, the benefits of using technology, okay, not just in ESL learning, but also in educational, educational uh, teaching in general, okay? So here, I'd like to emphasize this. Technology is so exciting. It's so exciting. It's so fascinating and ever evolving. And when we use it effectively, thoughtfully, it can transform even the most boring lesson ever into what into a very powerful and thought provoking um how do you call this task i tell you that you know for us teachers keeping increasing the motivation of our students actually is our is of great importance right we understand that the motivation actually plays the success in language acquisition and any you know in, in in all aspects of education i believe so this is why we wanted to 
um, how do you call this, continuously seek ways to increase the student's engagement and excitement. Question, how do we do that? Okay, how do we do that? How will we boost the, you know, their their eagerness, eagerness to actually participate? How? Mm hmm Any idea? I'll give you a simple, how do you call this? I'll give you a simple and very classic, how do you call this, uh, benefit here. Technology integration increases students' engagement and motivation. In our traditional kind, in our traditional kind of, uh, let's say method, teaching method, okay, without technology, when we wanted to, you know, let the students actually answer, we just kind of like pick one of them. You, you, miss this, Mr. This, can you please answer this? There's no frill, there's no frill, okay? But, I tell you here, I'm going to show you that even like the simplest form of application, yes, exactly, okay, could actually change, you know, change the, the, the engagement, okay, the, the, the experience of the students. I'll tell you this. All right. So instead of just like simply picking, this is so basic. But, I, but again, we never undermine basic, okay? We know it's like the foundation. Basic, but classic. Here we go. I'm going to share to you your, okay, my screen. Please let me know if you can actually see it. Okay, I'm showing you my screen. Yes, thank you. Yes, we could spin the marker for groups or we could actually like pass the ball and just like stop, you know? But uh, if we like inter, you know, like integrate technology in a, in a, in it's like simplest, oh wait, can, can you guys see me? Can you, oh right, so in this stuff here, okay, I'm gonna show you this, okay, I'm gonna show you this. All right, can you guys see it? Please let me know. So like, yes, thank you, thank you. Okay, so here, I'm going to show basic. Yes, this I think this one is basic. But I tell you, the experience would be different, really different, okay? So basically we use i i the these is actual this is actually one of my how do you call this my favorite tool okay my yeah so for example i have here team one team two three and four okay like they're going to usually i do this like for dialogue speaking so like I pair them up, I, I pair up the students and it, when I need uh, someone to like present, basically you need to just like spin it. The thrill is different just by like simply spinning the marker, right? So you have this, mm -hmm. right? Can you get it? But I wanna show you something that you could really experience. Look at this one here, okay? Look how my students are so engaged and so thrilled just by looking at the spinning wheel. Look at this, guys. Look at their faces in here. They're so happy. And so that's why they need to, what? They need to study here. The experience is different. And if you're like telling me that, oh, it's gonna be boring the next time. No, the experience, the excitement is still there. Look at this one. Can you see the difference, guys? Can you see the difference? All right, can you see the difference, guys? Like, why why is technology integration is so important? That was just like basic, okay? However, what the 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 
the eagerness to 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 be what to participate in the class activity was there can you get it do you agree yeah okay and say this okay look at this one here i have this another basic tool i should say basic um website resource uh, here. okay so my style is instead of just like counting okay you have this and that like example for vocabulary games and stuff basically instead of just like okay i will give you one minute I'll give you one minute to write as many vocabulary, let's say category, the category is food, right? And uh, instead of just saying, okay, write as many vocab, uh, many food as much as you can, as many as you can, okay? It's gonna be not too, like, you know, the three wouldn't be the same. When they see like this kind of bomb, I'm gonna show you here. So for example, this one, I think for, uh-huh so if you're like going to like start this off can you guys see it can you guys see it please let me know yes okay yes here we go thank you so here if they see this kind of timer the thrill would be different see it the thrill would be different Shin just like telling just, just then just like you know instead of just like telling them okay i'll give you one minute okay two minutes to write it down it's different it's different it's a natural instinct that when we see when we are like you know how do you call this timed the, the thrill the experience would be different right okay so here we go and you know i tell you personally that's really fantastic experience ever ever usually like um it's applicable like applicable in all ages levels like you know it's not really oh this will be okay only for like primary or like yes it's it's like applicable in all aspects of uh, educational learning okay are we good are we good okay so as you can see, no doubt, no doubt, it increases the student's engagement and motivation. And this is the, perhaps this number one um, benefit would be the most obvious perk, yeah, in integrating technology. So again, I wanna emphasize the, to the teachers that our creativity actually, um, how do you call this play plays great deal here too like this is actually the secret even if you have your you know this stuff that if you if you are not too creative about it yeah then it's gonna be a little bit risky okay so we try to be creative with doing some you know basic things like timing like spinning wheel these are all basics right okay so again you can see that uh those basic resources here were like it actually drives almost like every aspect of um in technology in, in education okay so here let's start off let's start off to the next part mm -hmm. so hold on a second i'll just upload here the second part of our presentation okay how are you doing while well, waiting for okay the next powerpoint let me know where are you now guys how are you okay let me check here how are you guys okay hold in for a little bit You could also like, I'm going.
Hey, hey, guys, we're good. We're good. Okay, are we all good now? Yes, okay, yeah, all right, all good? You wanna, you may wanna take down some of your questions, notes, or you could actually um, type down anything that you want to suggest. Like if you want me to, you know, uh, explain further, let me know. Okay. Hi, people from Philippines, from Vietnam, from Germany, and from all over the world. Hello, hello. Okay. So, we good? Now, here, what can you see? What can you see in our presentation here? Guys, what can you see in the picture? Why is it part? Okay, what does it imply? Why is it part with our topic right now here? Go. <laughs> Hi. Okay. So as you can see here, yep, everyone wins. Yeah, we're talking about winning. Yeah, we're talking about success. And basically what? In connection with our um, teaching and learning experience. What do we need to do to actually boost the students' engagement and participation? What do we do? we actually what okay we actually lure them with scoring system <laughs> with the reward um how do you call this yes sort of competition healthy positive competition in a sense and children you know our learners love uh how do you call this they're into like um winning in a sense so basically we want we, we may want to include our okay some resources that could boost it like it could like we want it to be visual okay so here so you could actually spin this on oh, no, i'm going to share you okay share it to you sense of achievement it is and when 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 students are well motivated okay only instinct would be i want to win i want to achieve this okay it's it's a nor it's a natural instinct here so this is why we wanted to can you guys see it okay can you see my screen everyone can you yeah yes thank you so here one good thing that we also wanted to one good thing that we also um how do you call it is wanted to innovate more is that scoring system rewards like you know the 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 thought of being rewarded the thought of winning could actually be our main key to what to keep our students more what eager let's say more up uh, how do you call it it's eager and more keen to participate in class rather all right so look at this one in my class in terms of english language teaching i usually like divide them into teams it depends it depends upon the activity so normally i i encourage collaboration with the students so in terms of group work pair work and all i usually like let them show this to them here yeah and so if they can answer they, they sorry for that we can actually just like have five points like that 
even the simple scoring okay like this like and we have we like group out our class into two we have blue team red team you could actually just like you know to visualize for them to visualize that oh we're hitting the goal like that i tell you this is you know the scoring system will never fail you will never it's a form of motivation okay i'm going to show you here okay i'm going to show you here how scoring system could actually change like the 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 integrated uh technology okay using the different websites like the scoring system and uh, the basic tools first could actually change our experience okay here look at this Okay, so what we're doing right now is like sentence construction. So basically, I'll show them like picture, and then uh, they will like write a short sentence about it, like he is a lawyer. Because of course, some uh, learners, they tend to undermine and like ignore the capital letter, the period at the end. So this is another way of like, you know, helping them out in a very exciting way with their sentence construction stuff and then later on you will let your students read it to practice their pronunciation as well now here talking about scoring system look at this one here it's really different why do they want to win just look at this one It's like, I, I feel like I'm having more fun than my students. <laughs> you hear my laughter? Okay. You see, I also wanted to emphasize that, that guys, guys, um, we wanted to be, if you, we want to attract the energy that we want to, you know, we want it to be the energy we wanted to attract. So if you want to have an exciting class, if you want to have a very, very, let's say, um interactive um experience then show it reflect it to the students you know that's how life should be as well anyway here um if you're interested i'm going to show as i've said for each benefit i'm going to show you some of the websites that would uh that are very useful in your learning process and in your preparation okay i have here the wait i'm going to show you the learning activity they did was actually the Doraemon english game okay here so basically sorry for that uh, here so basically this is like an english game here you can just like i'll show you the site later so what they did is just okay, they have the mystery okay so basically they they need to choose a letter so for example k and then you would have here let's say it have another one sorry for that okay so they will just literally like choose a letter here i'm going to show you so that you would know why they're so like happy so for example b who is he you could actually modify it into like if you want to like um more the focus more in vocab so you could just like let them write the vocabulary so you could have pilot on, on only or if you want to like improve their basic simple construction you want to say you want to you may want to like let them write a short simple sentence or if you want to improve of course like uh, what we are focusing right now i usually let them um how do you call this 
pronounce the word. So basically, instead of writing, they could also say pilot. Okay. And in this way, like they are actually learning in a very fantastic and exciting way. Here we go. Okay. Going back to you. Are we still all good? All good? Hello, everyone. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So, yeah. Now here. Another experience about um, how technology integration, how basic simple instruction and, you know, can be what activated with the use of simple, simple um, resources. Look at this one. These are my Yeah, so basically here and scoring, you know, what, what actually drives, uh, what, what actually drives them is the thought of winning. So you see, they have this power up and it's like the, the thrill is different, you know? So they're not just like learning in a normal way, but they are like the next day they would actually tell me teacher. Let's do something and let's like play like that. But they play with, you know, learning. They're learning while like having fun in a sense. Okay, so these are like basic stuff. Now, I wanna like, um, as much as I wanted to like go through everything here, I just want to show you, okay. All right. Um, this is it. Technology has made learning easy, interactive, and in interesting, and it's it's true. Okay, here I want to just quickly uh, go through this. Technology integration exposes students to valuable tools and internet-based resources for future use. How how can we relate this to um, English language teaching and also like in in in, in teaching in general uh in this case here what i did was like students i required the students to actually um review a movie all right so in the what well, like in the process they will be required to like present it using like videos like animations and all and uh, normally i group them out however each member so that they will have an individual experience they need also to present mm -hmm. so as you can see you we are not just equipping them with you know with the language but also we allow them to explore and experience and adapt you know the, and, and adapt the 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 technology okay example like here after they present the move the their uh, movie review they actually present it another student would actually give their opinion and select their feedback okay how and they also record okay themselves sorry sorry for that so it's a it's a very yeah it, it's an extremely great experience because of course students i tell you this is really effective because with this kind of presentation, all of their classmates will actually watch it and listen to it. Why? Because it's just so fascinating to see your, you know, face <laughs> like uh, on the screen. Look at this one. Okay. 
So yes, yeah, so basically here, um, technology integration would be, uh, how do you call this, will, will result to like numerous benefits, not only in language learning, but of course in equipping our students and in, in, in letting them uh, what? Be more, how do you call this? Uh, in enhancing mm -hmm. and in, in in equipping them in in the experience because let me put this okay in the future I think that the most base uh, let us say the most basic instruction require will require you know technology the the application of technology I mean technology has arrived and I think it's here to say to stay. So what are we going to do is to actually just what? Adapt, embrace. And how do we do that? Let our students experience it. And not just experience it, but to expose them with the continuous, right? Continual process experience so that, you know, um, they, they actually like, um, how do you call this? Learning not just the language, but also uh, like, all skills okay basically all the skills why they need to like use the technology they need to basically like uh develop um social skill because they need to work with their partner they need to work with their groups and it's perfect okay so here um technology can be a time saver for teachers and boost effective delivering and in, uh instructions i tell you this my god this is actually the highlight because some teachers do not actually realize, you know, the the benefit technology in our language, uh, in our instruction, rather. Okay, we have all the resources in the internet, loads of it, loads of it. And if you're like a newbie, in a sense, like those teachers, like, I don't know how to use this. I don't know internet. No worries. It's not too late. I mean, like, we are here to explore, and learning is a continuous process, right? So, basically, if you're not, you know, as techy you know, as, you know, other teachers, well, here, we could actually do loads, thousands of activities only by using this super trio. You have the Microsoft, you have the Microsoft PowerPoint or Google Slides, YouTube, Google, and everything is there. Name it, you'll have it. Okay. So let's start off. If you're like, we have these two kinds of preparation, actually. How can it save time, right? For the teacher? Because here we have two kinds of preparation. We have this low prep and the high prep. So we're going to, I'm going to share to you later some websites that would be very helpful and uh, other like resources for like, if you're like, I'm too busy, I want to just like, you know, just download everything, you can have it. Okay, but I want to start off with a Microsoft, Microsoft PowerPoint or your Google Slides here. I tell you, the basic, the basic, the classic, just by looking at this one, and then you allow this to, the, this is just like an image, okay? No copyright intended. Okay, I grabbed uh, from Google. If you just like, how this, if you're wondering like, okay, these are just words and how can we do it? How can it enhance, you know, the, the student's proficiency? Well, here, first you'll give them, you're, you're going to use the, the, the bomb timer, okay? So, you give them like in my, in 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 my practice, I usually give them like one minute or two, depending of course. Know your level, of course. Know the levels of your learners. So if they're kind of advanced, if they're kind of beginner, you also accord your time. Time management is of course important. So here, basic. If you're not into like, oh, don't know, I don't know the website, I don't know all all of this and stuff. You can just like grab photo here and then put it in a PowerPoint or like in a slide. And what? Give them a minute. Give them a minute to remember as many words as they can, and they will work as a team, right? And of course, they will be aiming to win. So what? They would actually, after the one minute, they will actually write as much, as many words as, as they actually can remember. And then after that, you will make them 
um, pronounce. After pronunciation, you will make them contract and use it, apply it in a sentence. So you can do loads of, you know, activities just by showing this one, you know, slide, imagine, and here. But if you want to become more innovative, we have here some websites. Ta-da! Okay, land. And every word game, vocab game that you wanted, okay, is here. So, for example, you want to do word search here. You can just play. And what? This will be beneficial for your, um, let's say, for the self-paced learners. And also for people like, or for students, like, you know, for teachers who wanted to make them, make this rather as a homework. Because you can just copy the link here. And basically, they play the game. So instead of like printing out, uh, instead of printing, you know, papers and all, you just give them the link and then they just basically play. So there you have it. Fun. Right? Uh, hold on for a little bit. Okay. So here. There you go. So you have quick game and okay. And then you just simply search. All right, so we don't have time. Oh, uh, here, burger, right? You could also make this like um, uh, a pair work. Always, like, I'm, I'm, you know, I actually encourage collaboration with the, with the students. I think it's really effective then, you know. But, of course, if you want to have, like, individual work, you can just, like, send them the link, and then they can practice at home. Imagine how convenient it is. Ooh la la. Okay, show you another thing here. Um, simple, the simple, how do you call this? Unscrambling of words. So basically, I just like uh, scramble the words and scramble the words and then they will just like uh, try to analyze and all the vocabulary are lesson based so whatever vocab they learn during that time you're gonna like um unscrambled it scrambled it rather and then they just like well, form yeah, like you know so easy that was just like simple easy as that you could have riddles like this i'm going it, it should be like this i'm going to show you so I'll give you an experience okay so you have if an electric train is traveling south which way is the smoke going okay so you will give them like five guys can you like answer this which is if the electric train is traveling to the south which way is smoke the smoke going come on come on answer it come on come on go you there no smoke because it's an electric train just like this right but what it's 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 easy for us because we are already uh what uh acquainted with the english language right however however for our learners this would be very beneficial why you could let them read this aloud and it will also require analysis and understanding of the english language right easy so you could have riddles and this is just what this is just like microsoft powerpoint so you let them hear you could just let them read this okay actually it's like this it's scaffolding i'm showing you i'm gonna show you i'll show you here so first i can swim i can fly can you tell me i eat fish i am a bird what's this come on what's this okay what's this what's this all right that's cool oh good all right so you see for learners and especially if you like the group them out and like even like according you need also to to assess the the size of your class so if you have like um 30 let's say 15 to 20 you may want to like group them into four or five but if you have like 10 then uh 
that's uh you can like make use of you know like the time and their like the the size the small size of the class so you could like allow them to read allow them to analyze and stuff this is really easy and if your uh, learners are of like higher level then go you know it's just about creativity and it's about like uh analyzing the appropriateness of our digital resources and materials according to our students okay so we have this uh-huh same stuff now i tell you these are loads of this one is the low prep you don't need to prepare this one we need to prepare right but if you don't really have time okay if you don't really have time then my god you can screenshot this. It's a lifesaver. These are lifesavers, okay? Why? If you want to learn, and my favorite is here, the islcollective.com. If you're going to, like, look at this one here, okay, you got all the loads of worksheets that you need. Everything. Let's say, for example, okay, um, adjectives, okay, here everything then all you need to do is bam download and that's it you see uh-huh there's nothing that you need to do all you need to do is just like simply download it see how light you know how technology could save you my god right are you still okay are you good are you good okay as much as i really wanted to cover all of this we don't have much enough time so i'm going to just simply go through here my favorite kind of interaction you know uh classroom interaction of course is uh the most vital how do you call this um aim that 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 students i mean sorry the teachers should actually what boost right because uh, through classroom interaction we can optimize the speaking activities okay especially of um, we can engage them to work with other people and with that um more likely they will actually like you know speak up their minds because they are you know enjoying yeah so basically it enhances their how do you call this their skills and i believe classroom interaction is you know the most vital and useful educational strategy in enhancing the speaking skills okay so we have learner learner interaction learner um teacher interaction but we also have our online interaction interactive here show you this I super love this one. Look at this one. And there's something wrong. Hold on for a little bit. Say for example, okay, okay. Here. Guys, are you still there? Say hi for me. My God, say hi. Okay, so this is Kahoot, and I'm going to show you how useful and efficient this is. Mm -hmm. Hello. Okay, so for example, your topic would be still watching from Philippines. Yes, nice. Here, I tell you, teachers, okay, I super love this because here, nowadays our students are into their smartphones like argh, i know most of you all of you like hate it right but there's nothing we can do with it it's like second to nature it's there it's like part of them yeah you know what i mean it's part of them the mobile their smartphones even us right in all aspects of our lives and what should we do if we can't beat them what embrace them so how would we do it then make use of it effectively tell your students go get your phone okay and then what let's say our topic would be past simple oh 
No, I don't want to talk about the past. <laughs> Let's talk about the present. <laughs> and of course, because my present is perfect. <laughs> Let's do this. All right. So you write in here. Okay. Then you can actually see loads of stuff. Present perfect, present perfect. Let's dive. Okay, let's try. You click this one here. Okay, so guys, prepare your phones. Guys, prepare your mo prepare your mobile devices, smartphones. You have this. The great thing here is you can assign this as homework, and you can also use this in your virtual classroom and even inside your classroom right so how here you click for example we are doing the in-class activities you click this one all right and Classic is for individual pacing and for team mode is like, I love this because they work as a team, right? Okay, let me check it for you. There must be something wrong. Thank you. Thank you for, okay, the information. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. Here it is. Ta-da! Can you now see it? All good. I want you guys to join and type in, go to Google or Safari and type in www.kahoot.it and type this game out of this game pen here. Let me know. And write down your name. Let's like. Feel it. Experience what my students like, you know, feel. And they're up to, of course. You need to reward them or you need to give them, like, a task after. So this is a team game. So basically, the winner. Can you guys hear me? Okay. All right. Okay, let me check. Yes, haul in, haul in a little bit. Okay, let's try again. Here we go. So I'm going to show you this one. Let me check. Can you guys see it? Yep, all good. All good. That's cool. Okay. So you can like yeah. All good. We could unmute it. We could uh-huh. So yes. Yeah. So we don't have enough time. Let's try to like uh experience it so you would like uh start the game and here it is so you try to answer you can still join the the game just type in the pin here you can see at the bottom all good so we could have tada seven and the best thing here is that we can see the scores right imagine you could imagine them screaming oh my god here second go try feel it okay and done eight so we have one person who did not get it get it right 
And then Quinn is up, of course, my favorite person here. So basically you just uh, kind of like finish it and then it will appear like uh, some sort of like a podium and a limelight and that. So I told you here, it's fun rather than showing, you know, showing uh, just a simple, simple, like how do you call the sentences and simple matching stuff on the board, make them make it more interactive and stuff. Okay, so I'm going to show you because just a quick stuff like same thing, same resources, same size, same, uh, how do you call this experience? I can you see my screen now? I also use the quiz is in quizzes, you can also like choose a game just like this. The same thing. You can assign it as homework. You can just let them practice. You can play it live just like what we did. All right. And I also have the here, bamboozle. So basically, um, you can type anything, everything that you want, any game, any stuff here. So, for example, your topic is animal. Okay. You may want to play. You may want also to study. You know, everything is here. Imagine if you could apply this to your classroom. Hey, Carol, Imagine. If we could... Yes? I think we can't see your screen. We only see the game's wheel spinning. Uh-huh. Oh. Here we go. Thank you so much for letting me know. Thank you. Here we go. Yeah. We have the bamboozle. Can you see it now? Yes. So basically, this is an in-class activities. You may want the students to write down, you know, go run to the board and write down this stuff. It's a game. I also personally use this for my quizzes so instead of just like you know giving them like a paper with you know printed copy i make them i i just like do questions here so basically i sh sorry sorry here so for example this one instead of giving them like the normal printed copy of the list of the the words you may want to simply have this Bombazole. Hold on, there's something wrong. Play. And then I have the quiz. So basically, I can show this to my students. Uh huh. They will be more what? Focused and engaged. Because if they have just the printed copy of their quiz, then it's what? Um, they just like think, but here they can feel it. They can feel the rush. They can feel the thrill. So basically, number one, spend time doing something calm and peaceful. You could like give them time, maybe five seconds and all, then done. Okay. Okay. So you could do this as a, t as a team. You could do this individual work or pair work, but normally I use this for my quizzes. Yeah, I love this one. Okay. Here, I'm going to like uh, go to our last, okay, sorry for that. And our last activity, last benefit here, save your questions and your comments, guys. Save your questions and your comments. We are, I think we'll be done in like in five minutes here. Sorry, hold on. Are you good okay here so i want also to quickly um emphasize the because the visual input inputs here could actually what okay i'm not a good example for this the teacher talking i'm talking lot right now but in a real uh, if you have the written input inside your classroom the written instruction it's easier to connect and to relay it to the students and more so you can actually um boost and activate their uh how did speaking skills so sorry for that it's good. Uh, here. 
So what I meant here is, can you see read an instruction? If you just simply write, use your hands to show your prepositions and all, right hand is the subject, right, left hand is the surface. I mean, it's okay, but for our learners, some of the learners, it may take a little bit of time to analyze and understand it. However, if you could like show like visual input, just like this, I think it would be, um, let's say, more okay to understand. So this way, they have a clear grasp of the instruction. So you or what well, it saves the time so that you can have more activities for example here okay giving directions look at this if you just simply write here our this and giving directions go apply what they have learned and then uh, um, the, he he or she will actually like go somewhere using the direction stuff here and then the rest of the class will guess where is his or her destination you could also and stuff however if you learners are okay and a low we have what if you have low level learners you may want to prepare exactly just like this like a prepared conversation so they can practice their pronunciation instead all good with that all good with that and the last part i think this one here is the um, technology integration promotes learner independence. I think I already touched it. It covered it. Hello, everyone. Hi. Sorry, I got disconnected. Everyone's here. All good. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So I'm going to cover. Yes, thank you. I'm going to cover the last part. Okay. And soon enough, we're going to finish. And then we can exchange, you know, some of our insights. Or you can all give me comments or question. questions. Please let me know. Okay, so, um, all right. So, thank you. As I said, okay, can you guys hear me clearly? Okay, so I, as I've said, the last part, the last benefit here is technology independence, independent learning, and self-paced learning. I okay. Yeah, I'm mean, sharing you my screen. Can you guys see me? Can you guys see it, brother? Can you guys see something on your screen? Thank you. Let me try it again. 
Oh, yes. Thank you. Hold it for a little bit. All right. So give me like a second. Okay. Holland, give me like a second. And while we are waiting, uh, I'm, I'm fixing some stuff here. And while we're waiting, uh, you can also type, you know, your concerns, your feedback, your questions. So like later, I will get back to you. Okay. Hold on a second. Can you guys hear me now? Can you guys hear me? Okay, okay. So I'm gonna wrap up our conference, I think. And can you see me? Okay, guys, can you guys hear me now? Yes, thank you. So there is like um, some technical error errors here, but let's see, I'm going to like, all right, here, I'm going to wrap up and like give you a quick recap of our um, webinar. Again, I, I encourage everyone to, yes, thank you. Okay, I encourage, really encourage everyone to um, to try to integrate. I think not just really try, but really adapt, embrace the changes in the, you know, according to the demands in this modern world technology. So I hope that uh, some, maybe if you need uh, the copies and the list of the websites, like here. Yes, thank you. Watson University will add. Okay, here we go. Some takeaway. Guys, listen, listen. Um, okay, first things first, I want you to always set goals, you know, when you start off your lesson. Be creative, okay? Be creative You want if you want to incorporate te uh, technology in your classroom activities. Please be creative. Explore, right? Do not forget to concept check, okay? Do not, of course, um, give importance to your class management and always give feedback and recognition. Feedback, I should say, I need to like quickly um, go through this. It's very vital in our learning process, especially for the kids and, and for our yeah students in general, because this is the only way that they will be aware of um, it can raise awareness of the things or the areas that you need to improve, okay? So basically, never ever forget to um, give feedback, right? After our activity is here. Now it's time. So I cannot upload, for some reasons, I cannot upload my PowerPoint presentation without getting disconnected. So instead, we can just like right here. Okay, let's find it. 
Yep. Uh huh. So I cannot. The Wega here and all. So the fortune cookie, it's still in Wega and all. Anyhow, anyhow, um, I uh, we still have. I th we could have time. I'm I'm okay to entertain comments, questions, or anything that you want me to um, go through. Please let me know. Do you have some questions? You can also turn on your um, microphone. And also, if you have some great um, websites and resources, please, please, please um, share it. We would love to hear from you. So we have a question here. Don't you think that, okay, don't you think the students from rural areas can do it well? especially the university class for freshmen who come from different parts. As a teacher, what can be done to balance this issue? Okay, first things first, very valid question. Here, I've shown you the major um, tools and resources that I, yeah, the Google, the YouTube, and the PowerPoint presentation. But if you're talking, I I assume that when you say from rural areas, the internet connection, okay, may not be as good as in the urban areas, is it? And also, I think that you were like concerned might be if you're talking about the devices may not be available for everyone that's really fine as a teacher personally i would cater it by doing those offline activities like the powerpoint presentation sometimes it's about being creative right and in you know in whatever you present if you want to like let's say if you want to let your students interact or boost the classroom interaction it's really about how you present it Okay, so make use of the PowerPoint presentation. Yeah, so I think it's not about um, rural or urban. Well, yes, urban areas have greater access. But then again, I presented you so many ways to actually apply technology, even using offline um, tools. I hope I could, I gave you. Yes, exactly. Yeah, it is also, yes, thank you so much. Okay. So, yeah, preparing for no tech situations as well. Like, like the PowerPoint present, uh, yeah, for no tech situation. Again, I'm not undermining the traditional method of teaching, but rather I am encouraging technology integration to enrich, you know, to supplement our traditional learning. Okay, there's no substitute, of course, for, you know, effective teacher with or without your technology. I want to emphasize that. Do you have for some teachers here, do you want to like share your sites that you think are very useful for our students and our teachers as well? We can share comments, please. We would have like five minutes. We can entertain questions. If you want to review something, I could share it to you as well. Yeah, Zillow, and how is it? You could like give me feedback or some stuff. <laughs> I hope that was very clear to you. And again, um, technology integration is such a broad uh, topic. There are tons of resources that I really wanted to, you know, um, go through in detail that uh, due to time constraint, I'm sorry, you can just like um, explore it and like find it in our site and the Watson University site. Yes, oh, that's good. Thank you, Vu. Okay, Vu here. Share the puzzle maker discovery. I'm going to open. Yes, I actually use this too. And it's really, really fantastic and useful. Thank you for that, Boo. How will you encourage those teachers who have phobias? <laughs> phobias or don't know how to use computers? Okay. Woohoo. Right? Actually, here, I encourage embracing change adapt changes 
in every aspect of our life. Okay, we can't move on. We can't, uh, you know, we can't embrace and take on challenges without adapting changes. So again, we are, you know, lifelong learners. So basically, it's never too late to use and practice and explore computers to using computers rather. So if you you may start with the basic YouTube. There are too many tutorials there and really easy, basic, and uh, yeah, soft, you know, it's it's really a good uh, way to aid those who are like beginners. I trust it. Trust me. Okay, enunciation. Oh, hi. Thank you, <laughs> Miss John. Learning. Okay, we have here uh, Miss Ida. From Germany, and she said that blended learning is more common in bigger She is currently in Germany right now, and some teachers or schools use Moodle. Okay, there is like a Moodle, an open source management learning. Actually, for us here in Ho Chi Minh City, like uh, for especially for Watson University students, we are already acquainted with a Moodle um interface because we have this m learning account way i mean during the, pan the pandemic like three months ago we were using the moodle as our medium okay so this is another stuff but thank you miss ida from germany all right thank you miss uh kun here yep i'm gonna show you here <laughs> oh thank you so much yay you know again i i want to thank you so much Vu. all right so i want to emphasize um i need to be energetic simply because i want to be the energy the energy that i wanted to be to attract it's like a mantra yeah you know if you wanted to attract positive vibe then you know start it with yourself <laughs> maybe but yes reflect it that's how life should be all right so we avoid negative vibes if you want to have energetic classes start it with you you're a teacher all right yes 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 thank you anyone else comments feedback questions i'd be, i'd be really you know glad to hear from you Yep, yep, let's just let me know. Thank you, by the way, so much. Thank you so much for being with me. It's really an honor. And uh, despite the, the time constraints, I'm, I wish that you were able to learn something, <laughs> especially, you know, uh, for the, the teachers in Philippines, because I believe we are not too exposed with this kinds of resources, I believe, right? May offers webinars. Uh, yes, yes, this is, yes. Yes, uh, there will be more webinars because this is like series, right, of webinars. So there will be more. You can still join. I'm encouraging you to join and you can learn from it for free. Mm-hmm. Okay. This is a good start. We're look, looking for more. Thank you. Yes, support Watson University um, with this webinar seri series. It will be very useful and helpful, especially uh, when you are in the field of education. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I think that would be it. Okay. So, do you, yeah, are we all good? Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you for the support. And again, if you may wish to access all the detailed resources and the websites and the tools, you may access the, it in the website of via Wasson University website. Thank you so much, everyone. Oh, thank you. Right here. Thank you so much.